more thing husky. Good morning, it's another day, my friend. But soon the sunshine turns to moonlight, life goes on. Never hold on to hate, cause you was placed here to be great. Please take your place, all queens gotta seat at my table. Cause without y'all, then the man ain't able. Melanated queen, connected to the universe. And so I gotta thank my mom for my birth. If hate is the curse, then love is the remedy. So I send you love no matter creed or identity. Until infinity, look at you like you kin to me. Even when we disagree, yo, you still kin to me. In other words, I can't bring you no trouble, can't bring you no beef, don't wanna see you deceased. Now if I'm coming at you, I'm coming with a business plan. Cause every day I'm on some, yo, let's get this money, man. Yeah, and that's my real plans. I rest my head at night, I wake up, I got another plan. Tell me why we don't get money together But we'll kill each other over whatever Running down the freeway We gonna own down If black lives matter Why we gonna own down That's why they laugh And they think that we clowns They hear what we say But see how we get down We gotta change that now Right now to be exact Cause hurting that man's moms Is not where we're sat now Old school, new school Need to learn, yo They put us in groups So they can make more dough The young versus the old The old versus the young Black versus White, you see the pattern, right? No unity, keep them all on some gutter ish. This way they don't prosper and get rich. Yo, can't you see it's a trick? Just open your third eye and you'll see the full view of it. Now, yo, what if the powers that be know that the real power lies within the people? That's us. And what if they use using things like crayon colors, black and white? To separate the people. Hey, yo, you gotta wake up. Don't let them fool y'all. Spread love. Good morning. It's another day, my friend. But soon the sunshine turns to moonlight. Life goes on. to get into it we're about to get into it um let me see all right we're good here we go we're back in the building and we got another another great episode for y'all today Ooh, here we go we should be looking good looking all crispy and clean on the screen let me turn this down a little bit there we go how are y'all doing man hopefully everybody's doing good let me know how y'all are feeling in the chat first of all welcome to another youtube live stream and another episode of the music morning show i'm your host classy beats of classybeats.com and today we're going to be reviewing your music i know we didn't get too many yesterday because so, we had a crazy live stream yesterday man record breaking live stream and it was a lot of fun we've got some more topics we're going to cover today but we definitely will be getting some more re music reviews in for y'all now Make sure you stay tuned because we do have a topic we're going to cover at the beginning of the show and then we'll get into some of the music reviews as well. So if you want to get your music heard during the show, super easy to do. If you're watching on BandLab, you can submit your music using the link in the description 
and if you're watching on any other platform the link to submit is in the live chat and i also dropped it here, let me drop it again in the description as well all right let me see what y'all are saying up in here shout out to everybody who's in the building too young step is in here hollywood co says hi whitney <laughs> we're gonna talk about it here in a second yeah we're gonna talk about it which actually yeah i did put it up there all right so we're good hollywood co said it's another day my friend you mojo says hi all big d writes up in here what's up what's up mr tesla underdogs in the building dj snoofu's up in here i see snap and slap watching over on the vertical edition we've got who else is in here we've got Mies is in the building too roaming around my dog is up in here y'all got to hear one of his songs to kick off the show as well shout out to roaming around aka nine four who else did i miss triple c is up in here too he said hey classy could you mix my song for me yeah i can definitely look at it today i should be able to look at it today triple c i'll actually make sure i get you in there first so shout out to the members on the classy beach youtube channel as well uh young step has said classy the the viewer count yesterday was uh the viewer count was crazy yesterday yeah shout out to everybody who was here yesterday and thank you to everybody who's returning for today's live stream too um yeah i had an exclusive an exclusive song that i leaked or that i didn't leak that i dropped yesterday i posted on my youtube channel and then it ended up picking a lot of picking up a lot of traffic and we had a ton more people come to the show so that was cool to see and i'm definitely grateful for it and shout out to everybody who's here from yesterday tk's up in here too what's up tk good to see you man we've also got uh ray ro ray rosa rosamond okay shout out to ryan rosamond up in here good to see you why stun is in here too we've got skelly is in the building too okay we're gonna go ahead and get into it in a second again if you guys want to submit your music it's easy to do it is free to submit your music as well all you have to do is drop your links in the live chat if you're watching on bandlab or you can submit if you're watching on any other platform using the links in the description all right uh let's see who else is in here untold behavings in here too i don't really have any announcements today for those of y'all who didn't make it to last night's show we had a crazy time last night <laughs> crazy time last night um so many dope songs we we got to the top 10 at the end of the show and uh it was pretty tough to pick but one artist did win last night they chose to get the 100 it was a great time we gave away some door prizes too so if you guys missed the replay go back and watch it you can find the replay over on the classy beats youtube channel all right let me see uh <laughs> skelly said I'm sorry, yesterday, me and a couple other people were trolling. I'm sorry. Uh, you don't have to apologize. I wasn't even paying attention, honestly. We had over 100 people watching. I was just trying to keep the show running smooth. So uh, y'all are good. Let me see. Who else? Who else did I miss in here? Snap a slap. It came over to this side. Good to see you, man. Umojo says, classy. I submitted three songs today. Big D Wright says, 11K on that K-Dot video. Yeah, it's going crazy. <laughs> um let's see you might just said last time you didn't even review our music in the morning yeah i reviewed a couple i reviewed a couple yesterday but yeah that's the nature of this show i mean it is it's kind of depends on what's going on that day so sometimes we'll mostly cover a topic sometimes we'll do music reviews it just depends it just depends on what we're doing here we go all right let's go ahead and get to our topic today though y'all i know i told y'all I had some breaking news. Most of y'all may have heard about it already, but I want to get to this topic. That way we can get this out of the way and then move on to the music reviews. Cause I know most of y'all want to get into the music reviews before we get into everything that's going on with in the music wor world with Rick Ross and Drake and Kendrick. I saw this. I don't know if y'all saw that. I saw this over on rap and I thought this was crazy. Look, <laughs> look at this WNBA contract this is insane I couldn't believe this was real I couldn't believe this was real um rap says uh Caitlin Clarks and shout out to rap for this one 
Caitlin Clark's rookie contract is going viral. It says Caitlin Clark's rookie contract is going viral after being picked number one in the NBA draft. What do y'all think of the contract? Look at this. Caitlin Clark, number one. She went to the Indiana Fever. Congratulations to her as well. <laughs> Yo, look at this contract. Yo, this is crazy. So this is her rookie contract. She signed a four-year contract, her rookie contract. 2024, she's going to make $76,000. What? Wow. 2025, she's, and I'm guessing this is guaranteed money. Uh, 78,000, 2026, 85,000, 2027, 97,000. And she, she has a player option there. Uh, shout out to her. Dope contract. She made it to the WNBA. Now, because because of everything Caitlin Clark is doing for the game, because of all of her all of her relationships she built in college, we know she's going to get some more money uh, besides this WNBA contract. And honestly, going into that fourth year, I'm sure she'll be up for a big contract. But man, this is crazy. I should laugh at it. This is, I was shocked when I saw this. I haven't looked up the contract, but I want to see. Let's just think of. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be that guy. But a lot of people who work regular jobs are making $76,000 a year. And the work that you have to put in to perform at this level, even in the WNBA, is crazy. Now, I get it. They might not be pulling all the numbers that uh, other sports are pulling, but that just seems wild. AR is in here. He said, this is tragic. She's going to sell out the arenas too. Yeah, I think it just... Yeah, it depends on what she does. I'm sure there'll be some incentives along with there too, but man, <laughs> that's wild. Big D Wright said, "Classy, you need to be one of those guys." No, nah, I'm not going to do it because I don't like to. I don't like to compare sports because sports are, they're all different, and I get it. But uh, TK says three hundred thousand in four years is not good. Not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> AR says the Indiana Fever went from. The number one national television game to 36. Sheesh. Uh, TK says she should be wake making way more. Well, what this says to me that if they're if they're not paying her enough, they just don't have they don't don't have the money to pay. I mean, I don't think they're not paying. <laughs> they're not paying them because. They just don't like play Caitlin Clark. And to think she went number one overall and this is her rookie contract is amazing to me. So I think there's a there's a lot more that goes into these contracts and you know the entire structure of the business, but that's wild to think that someone who's playing in the WNBA and is gonna perform at the highest level of female basketball is gonna be struggling. <laughs> I mean, even as a single person, 76,000 a year, that's tough. But again, she's built some pretty, some pretty solid relationships. She's got contracts outside of that, that I think will obviously help her in her career, but not everybody in the WNBA has that. So it's interesting to see, it's interesting to see uh, how that's going to work. Uh, what else, what else are y'all saying on this? And then we'll get to, we'll get into the situation with Drake and all that. Ray Flo is up here too. What's up for Ray Flo? Snap a slap and says your business makes more, but what's the profit? Yeah, profit is the key. WNBA is, from what I understand, is not profitable. They're actually <clears throat> the the NBA supports most, if not all, of what the WNBA does, and I, it'll be that way for a while. Um, Young Stepper says I make five hundred to seven hundred dollars per day off my job. Stop the cap. All right, now relax. Uh, she ain't making none compared to me. Okay, now Hollywood Co says she she should have went to the big three for three M's. Yeah, I think I think it's more it's more about the money for Caitlin Clark, and 
for a lot of these female athletes too, from what you hear. And it's more about what they're trying to do for women's sports. It's about, um, it's about their love for the game. So yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting to see. Smoking the one said, don't forget endorsements. She's fitting to have, have them all. Yep. You're going to see Caitlin Clark everywhere. Triple C said they screwed her. I think that's just, that's all they could do. That's all they could do without taking the NBA's money. I don't know. Clark's influence is crazy. The team that drafted her had one national TV game. They will have 36 next year. Yes, that's true. That's true. And I'm sure there's incentives written into her contract that come along with that as well. Hollywood Co says she's going to still eat though. Yeah, she's going to go crazy. I honestly, I think it was cool to see her college run. I don't know that I'll be watching the games with, with AR saying that there'll be 36 televised games next year. I'm sure I'll catch one. Um, I know once she plays, once they play Chicago, that's going to be a big one too. But other than that, I don't know that I, just because I'm not, not a WNBA fan. I think it was a cool story of what they had going on in college, but I think most, most sports fans aren't WNBA fans and the numbers show it. Uh, let's see. Ray, Ray is asking me a question. Shout out to Mikey Gascan too. Let's see. Um, I don't have 50, but I have 42. Is that fine? Why? Yeah. Why can't you hear Ray? You don't have to, you don't have to pay to skip Ray. You can just drop your link and, and I'll try and get you in there. Let me read a couple more comments and then we'll start talking about what's going on with Drake. Um, Young Stepper says, I detail cars, classy 200 per car, but no cap. I don't Stop believe the cap. I don't believe you, but hey, congratulations to Young Stepper though. He's out there getting a the bag. Let's go. <laughs> um, Young Stepper said, WNBA is sad. A F. I'ma go. Oh, all right. Relax. 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 Hey, yo. Relax. Uh yeah. Rest in peace to Gigi, man. Kobe's daughter would have took them to the next level. Kobe. He was Kobe was going to totally help the NBA. That would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. But yeah, unfortunately, we will never know. Who else? Shout out to uh, Lil Skelly's over there. He said, on oh, God. Big T Rice said, hey, yo. <laughs> uh, rest in peace to the Mamba. Yeah, this is his year. This is his year. All right. Young Stepa needs to relax. Okay, let's go ahead and get to our topic today. So, y'all saw the live stream yesterday. It was going crazy. We had a record-breaking live stream. We had a video that went viral. Um... Absolutely crazy. So thank you to everybody who tapped into the live stream yesterday. We talked about a lot. We talked about Drake and Kendrick. We talked about Rick Ross and Drake. We talked about Metro Boomin and Drake. We talked about Rick Ross and Birdman. So there's a lot going on in this whole World War III situation with Drake and the rest of hip hop. Rick Ross is still continuing to troll Drake and it's absolutely hilarious, man. One thing I love about Rick Ross and the main reason I think he is getting into this and honestly the reason a lot of a lot of these artists are getting into this whole um, Drake versus the world battle is for publicity. And you can see Rick Ross is taking every opportunity he can to promote himself, which I think is a masterclass in marketing 101 because this is this is what he does. He's taking the chance when he has the spotlight on him to promote what he's doing. So y'all look at this. There's a couple things on his Instagram story I want to highlight that are pretty funny. Uh, most specifically this one. One time, Rick Ross, that record I released yesterday, Champagne Moments is now streaming on Apple. Who knows? Smart man. Go to Apple right now. Y'all check that out. It's the biggest. Champagne Moments, baby. <laughs> and he's over there flashing the bottle. Hey, shout out to Rick Ross. He's smart, man. Smart man. And of course, y'all saw, if you haven't seen it yet, this is the cover of Champagne Moments by Rick Ross. That man, <laughs> that man is hilarious. I love it, man. I love the back and forth. Again, at the end of the day, as long as nobody's going outside and getting physically harmed, I think this is a lot of fun to watch. It's enjoyable. As Kendrick said himself, 
most of most artists in this industry, especially at this level, look at it as a sport and a competition. So this is fun to see the back and forth. But Rick Ross is doubling down on this whole white boy thing, which is crazy to me. <laughs> I can't get, <laughs> I can't get over this this artwork man anyway there's a couple other things in his story one time that i wanted Rick to highlight Ross, that record i released yesterday we saw this already and he's over there partying it up shout out to rick ross now this is the one thing that was i thought was interesting of course <laughs> he got some artwork done trolling drink again he's calling him bbl drizzy and saying he got a nose job which is just wild I'm not seeing it. I don't know that there's any proof for that, but it's still funny. Now, here's one other thing that I think is interesting and a lot of people are going to be talking about is Rick Ross brought up Lil Yachty. Now, as a lot of y'all know or may not know, Lil Yachty is very close to Drake. They can ch consider each other best friends as far as we know, right? And they've done a lot of collaborations together. They've done a lot of work together, made several songs together. And it's been rumored for a while that Yachty has been maybe doing some of the heavy lifting when it comes to Drake's music. Look at that however you will. I know we've had conversations in the past about songwriters and how much credit they get. But now Rick Ross is bringing Lil Yachty into this whole thing and is saying that maybe Lil Yachty is the one who deserves more of the shine. So he says, Yacht, put your phone on silent, little bro. BBL Drizzy's calling again. Yah, AKA the pen. Ooh. So I think we pretty much know what Rick Ross is insinuating there. And I actually have another article that we're going to get into here in a second where uh, Rick Ross shares a little bit more about what exactly he means by Lil Yachty being the, the pen. But check this out. So. Not only is Rick Ross trolling, Drake is out here trolling too. This, this back and forth is hilarious. I would say Metro's out here catching strays, but Metro started this whole thing. So, I mean, he's got to, he's either got to shut up or he's got to put up a fight. Right now, Metro is taking so many shots from Drake. Check out, check out what Drake posted on his story. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> Yo, I love how they did the deep fake too. They put Metro <laughs> They put Metro's face. Oh man, in this into this clip. This is hilarious, man. And Drake wasn't done. He was still going in. Shout out to Sexy Red. We're gonna come back to this one. Metro! <laughs> But this is another video he posted. <laughs> Going at Metro. Hey, I told y'all the other day, Metro is not going to be able to walk through Atlanta. Without somebody yelling, hey Metro, shut your. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen, man. Metro is gonna end up getting in a fight with somebody because he's gonna get tired of hearing it. Someone's gonna catch him on the wrong day, and it's just, it's not gonna be good. But hey, producers, man, y'all gotta let me know. Are y'all gonna side with Metro and defend producers? Or are you like, hey, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have gone this route. Metro is is taking all the shots. Metro is an easy target too. What's he gonna do? <laughs> and that's funny because TK says in the chat, he says Metro ain't even say nothing. Metro was doing an awful lot of talking before we don't tr trust you dropped. After we don't trust you drop, and then leading up to we still don't trust you drop. Now Metro, it's like crickets. And of course, we covered this the other day. Metro was saying, oh, his Twitter account was hacked. Ah, right, come on. Stop the cap. I don't know how that's possible. But at the same time, he said, my account was hacked, but I was able to send out 
some other tweets. So some of those tweets were mine, but some of them weren't. Make it make sense. Anyway, so we're gonna keep it moving. Drake is over here going crazy. <laughs> He's got the drum the drum line out in front of Magic City. Don't ask me how I know that's where this is. I'm in Atlanta, y'all. All right, Ma everybody knows where Magic City is. Anyway, so that's Drake taking shots at Metro. Now, another interesting thing Drake posted is this shot that he's taking at Kendrick Lamar. Now, the jury is seemingly still out on whether Drake's response was AI or not, whether it was him. I haven't seen Drake officially confirm it. I know Axe said that, yeah, Drake's or if I can confirm that the response was real. So we're going to just go with the fact that this is real because I'm hearing some people saying, oh, it wasn't real. And Drake hasn't officially responded yet. Well, he's responded. We've heard it. So everybody's got Kendrick on the clock. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. I think it's been 48 hours since it's actually been. It'll be almost 72 hours this afternoon since Drake dropped. And now Drake is over here taking shots at Kendrick. He said, Wonder, is today the day? We don't know. Everyone's waiting for Kendrick to respond. Now, I've also heard criticism. People saying, oh, well, Drake took three weeks to respond. <laughs> Whatever you want to say about that. I don't know. I don't think there's a timeline, honestly. I think Kendrick's going to respond when he responds. But at the same time, I mean, he, he kind of kicked this thing off with his, with his feature on Metro and Future's, Future's album. So we're all waiting. But also, check this out. So a lot of y'all were on the live stream yesterday or saw another video or heard this song that allegedly was, uh, was leaked and is allegedly AI. And this is supposed to be that verse that we played yesterday, which was, I'm calling it Uno K Dot. If y'all haven't heard it, let me... Hold on, let me actually play this for you real quick because it's only a minute. So if y'all haven't heard this yet, people are saying that this is AI. I haven't seen Kendrick's camp say that this is AI. I've seen some people, some artists close to him hint at Kendrick's track being AI, but I still haven't heard anyone come out and say, yeah, this is AI, this isn't Kendrick. But anyway, check it out in case y'all haven't heard it yet. Utter my name three times in front of your mirror. You hesitate to proceed after you reconsider. Lights flick at the energy in a room shifted. Scared to open your eyes because you feel in the ghost of Kendrick. I dominated your favorite rapper, you idolized. My silence is enough to make niggas apologize. But track the statements, cold, saying regret in his lyrics. MCs die when you revive a competitive spirit. How to kill a rapper, let them do it to they self. Self afflicted career wounds that fear helped. Drop nukes, surprise moves, hide them respect. They promised me my death. Now they deleted threats. Yeah, I mean, the writing I thought was a little bit shaky. It wasn't great. I'm not convinced this is AI. I'm still not convinced this is AI. I'm um, hearing some other people, Daylight was saying it's 1,000% or 10,000% AI. But he also didn't say what he was referring to. Was he talking about Drake? Was he talking about Kendrick? And just because something is AI, doesn't mean that it wasn't written or recorded by that artist, which we talked about yesterday. One rap nigga dead laid on the floor And I didn't even have to throw bullets for him to go Now that we got that out of the way, it's one more to go Stop wasting time, let's get the show on the road Niggas was ignoring repeat disses And when they give us why they entertained it, it's weak disses And now that it's direct, it's leaked disses From burner pages and all Insecure behavior from niggas, y'all call guards I know that you were sensitive and emphasis on lame Seeking validation from rap critics, slandering names Legacy forever cemented, I will reign Move, make the best move is detrimental. Uh, grab your glass when you see K Dot better. Car ghost riders just to beat K Dot. I came with a full clip, but only need one shot. No big three, just dynamic. Uno K Dot, K Dot. 
All right, now I mentioned I've worked with a lot of these AI tools. I'm sure there's more, way more advanced tools out there. But in this case, to get the, vo the vocal inflections, to get the melody changes, it takes, it takes a lot. You can't just type into, um, <laughs> you can't just type into an AI music generator and get something that sounds like this. There's a lot of tedious work that you have to do. So. I don't know, man. I'm not convinced that this is AI. I'm still standing on it. I think it's real. And there's also some interesting, I wouldn't say facts, some interesting, uh, we'll say theories surrounding this entire release by the Kendrick AI. DJ Academics tweeted about it yesterday. He said, oh, nah. Drake comments and laughs at OVO Hush saying we're going to we're going to be flabbergasted when we find out that AI Kendrick disc was actually real. Uh oh. I don't know how OVO Hush would know that, but hey, there's a lot we don't know. He said, and then Axe said, hold up, hold up. Did PGL the PGL Lang? try to sneak one out and back off because of the reception, which a lot of people are accusing Drake of that very same thing because he, re the first version of his response was leaked. And then he released an official version after that. Again, with the leaks, I don't see anything wrong with it. Just the same way. I don't see anything wrong with artists making TikTok. It's a way to, it's just a way to move the needle when it comes to people looking for your content, getting your name out there. And I think to me, it's just smart. It would be smart to leak a verse off of your upcoming project because people are going to talk about it. I mean, oh, a verse just leaked. They're going to be looking forward to the release. So I don't see why some are saying that's lame. But for those who are saying it's lame, DJ Academics already verified that Drake sent him the full mastered version of the song and Drake has already stood behind that first response that he, that first response that he sent. So I don't know. Y'all have to let me know what you think in the chat and in the comments. Is this an AI? Is it not? I still think it's AI. I just think the writing is garbage. I just think the writing's really bad on this. So I don't know. It could be that they put it out and the reception was bad, but OVO Hush says, when you find out, this is real. Don't forget how trash it was as an AI. Oh, man. And then, of course, Drake has the laughing emoji on this post. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what's going to happen. If it's going to be confirmed by someone who is actually close to Kendrick Lamar or Kendrick Lamar himself. Or if we're just going to stay in limbo and never know for sure. Or maybe Kendrick will address it on his official response. We still have to wait and see. Also, Hype Beach just put out an article in reference to the High Whitney track, which we're going to listen to here in a second, and the Kendrick, we're, we're going to call it Uno K Dot track. So it says, new diss track from Drake, Kendrick Lamar confirmed as AI generated by sources. All right, so listen to the wording on this because I found, I found some of this wording interesting. A selection of unreleased, unreleased diss tracks supposedly from Drake and Kendrick Lamar have been confirmed fake by sources. This is, I, I hate this man. By what sources? Hi Whitney, the track that mimics Drizzy's voice and is named after K-Dot's fiance was revealed to be AI generated by DJ Academics. We're going to listen to that one here in a second. He explained on his live stream that Drake himself clarified this. I guess when I play, I guess when I was playing that high Whitney ish, he said, that's AI. He said, that's, he said 100% AI. All right. So high Whitney's out of there. This is allegedly Drake's second response to Kendrick Lamar's <laughs> fake AI response. I don't know, man. This is getting crazy. This is just getting crazy for me. Hopefully y'all are following along. If you're following, just let me know in the chat. Uh, it says, meanwhile, the song that, um, that comes from Kendrick Lamar was also stamped as fake by his affiliate daylight. That, that doesn't mean anything to me. He said, PS that's one 
10,000% AI, he wrote on X. So this part, I, I'm... Stop the cap. I'm not buying it. Unless they just told Daylight, hey, say something about that. And he didn't even say, P.S., that Kendrick Lamar diss track is AI. He just said, P.S., that's 10,000% AI. Uh, this, what does that even mean? There's been so many alleged leaked AI things in the past 24, 48 hours. He could be talking about anything. I just don't know why people are vague. Just put out a statement. What do you have to lose? I don't know. I guess they don't want to kill the momentum of people talking about it, which makes sense. Uh, as of writing, audiences are waiting on Lamar to hit back at Drake after the latter's push-ups drop and give me 50 diss track hit the internet over the weekend. Hype Beast asks listeners if the boy should be crowned the winner of this round. I think so, but it remains to be seen whether he will get a response from the PGL Lang founder. All right. And then this is academics confirming on his live stream that Hi Whitney is indeed fake. In case y'all haven't heard it, we're going to listen to it in a second. Check this out. He did. He did hit me. He hit me. Uh, how long ago? Yeah, he hit me an hour ago. Wow. We're fucking late. And I guess when that, I was playing that that Hi Whitney shit, he said that's AI. He said 100% AI. So I'm going to take his word. What? I ain't going to lie to you. That shit is slick. Yo, Drake, I ain't gonna lie, you might wanna like that. <laughs> that's really take the credit Drake for bag it. I want him to get into. It's it's not necessarily that track. That's the bag I want him to get into. The slick talk, yeah. but direct talk over some smooth beat. Like yo, make me feel like I'm like you know what I mean at the fucking like. All right, so if y'all haven't heard Hi Whitney, I'm gonna play it for y'all real quick. I just dropped the track this morning on the youtube on my youtube channel so y'all can go check it out this is the full track it repeats a couple of times but if you haven't heard it check it out then we're gonna listen to it but first i want to give a shout out to these writers man these writers are going crazy and i wish <laughs> i wish more writers would use some of these tools to release stuff like this i know we talked about the ghost writer the ghost writer guy who went viral on TikTok for his Travis Scott. I think it was Travis Scott in the weekend track he did. Um, more writers could be making and releasing this music, which I think would be amazing for them. And it could give them some more shine too. I mean, think about putting that on your resume. Yeah, you know that High Whitney track that went viral? I wrote that. They can reach out to Drake and say, hey man, this is what I can do for you. This is what I can help you with. And then you've got another, you've got another spot on Drake's squad. Anyway. Check it out, hi Wendy. So that's pretty much it. Y'all want to check out the lyrics. Now, Genius has it as Hi Whitney fan made AI because obviously Drake confirmed it, confirmed it yesterday that this is an AI track. But let's look at some of the lyrics real quick. So the verse is, uh, you ain't never heard nothing about how Drake stopped or that J Drake flopped. Because I'll make that little boy K dot turn K pop. <laughs> I like that line. Uh, I see that these ninjas future sleeping at rest stops and have your soul and have your soul earnings and profits <laughs> come from that wing stop. Shout it. <laughs> Rick Ross there. There we go. Hi, Whitney. Hi, Whitney. Talking about K dot's wife. Uh, won't, won't you come over girl? Get high with me. Tell me about your insecurities, impurities, shortcomings, baby. I'll have you more. I'll, have you more coming 
and more coming oh my gosh hey yo more life more money more success more chains fuck it girl more everything i know you i know you don't like all the tribal decorations in your house you wanted something tasteful but it's bothering you now i'll send you that interior decorator to your i'll send you i'll send that interior decorator to your house incorporate a couple owls and tell them and tell him baby it'll grow on us let's stick with it for now ninjas try to rekindle their careers off my child no let's talk about it i'm about to push all these buttons push their teeth back push a tea found tea and he couldn't wait to drink that ninjas hate on me i pray god i pray to god they would rethink that hey shout out to the writers man <laughs> And uh, I'm surprised they didn't highlight this part too. I didn't read it. It says, I'll get your Joe Blows button up and your and your coop top. Uh, we're talking all that hoopla. Fuck them, we're grand poop, pooba. This is clearly a shot at Joe Button. Again, it's AI. I don't know who wrote it though. And we've got to change. We've got to change this phrasing. I'm glad they put fan made AI because Drake's not claiming it. But even if you go back to where is it? Even if you go back to what Drake said here or what DJ Academics said, Drake said, yeah, listen to this carefully. He hit me. Uh, how do I go? Yeah, he hit me an hour ago. Wow, we're fucking late. And I guess when that, I was playing that that high Whitney shit, he said that's AI. He said 100% AI. Okay. He didn't say it wasn't me. This is the thing I'm telling y'all. If I could today, if I could go to the Apple store and <laughs> they had this feature to where I could recreate myself and host this show without actually physically being here. And that way I have time to maybe spend more time with my family maybe create some music or do some other things. Don't y'all think I would take advantage of that? Why are we going to sit here and think that a Drake who has an abundance of resources doesn't have access to his own AI voice? Like Drake, Drake did not say I didn't release this. He said it's AI. Okay, fine. It's AI. We still don't know who is behind this. And that's the thing I think is being lost in this entire conversation. Drake could have put this out. He could have released the Kendrick track. You can release whatever you want to at this point. And just saying that it's AI generated doesn't mean it wasn't created by Drake. Now, I'm not accusing Drake of releasing it. I'm just saying we don't know who released this. So just saying that Drake says it's AI doesn't mean that he didn't make it. And I think that's that's something that's being missed in this whole conversation, because I mean, this writing is so on point. Not that I'm saying somebody who's independent or who just does this for fun couldn't write it. I mean, hell. chat GBP, J chat GBT might even be able to write this where we're at now. But I just think it's interesting that we're saying <laughs> we're using the fact that something was made AI to assume that it wasn't made by the person who it's mimicking. So y'all keep that in mind moving forward because AI doesn't necessarily mean that they didn't make it. Anyway, I think that was all I had in here. Oh, I had one more thing. This is going back to the conversation with Lil Yachty and Drake. Uh, allegedly, Metro Boomin leaks Drake's reference track for Jumbotron is popping. I think it's I think it's dumb. Clearly, Yachty and Drake have been working together, but. If y'all want to hear the similarities between the two, you can. So this is the reference track right here. Hold hands. I see so much last time it's hard to leave the bed. Then I do the whole kind of tech in a core. If I tell this bitch to pull, she gon' mope hit it. My dog, you don't smoke on shit unless it's unlit. I don't back and forth over no net, so just go and get it. See me when you see me, if it's smoke, doggy, unleash it. This bitch leave me like a meal, stay up, strapped up. I give up a fuck, I'm a dollar. Real slime, posted at the crib in a sun pit. Every time, say how I feel, I don't fake shit. We ain't even not in Turks, she finna take sand. Riding around with F and then we like the whole hand. All right, I don't want to play the whole thing because it's going to get copyright strike. But 
From where? No, the got, grassy, stop playing me like I ain't teach Drake. He got Soldier Boy in there. Everything. This doesn't. I don't have a problem with this. I don't have a problem with this. Y'all have to let me know what you think in the chat. Uh, if he's working with Yachty to write some things for him. Uh, Lana Del Rey writes for Taylor Swift. I mean, there's a lot of big artists who have other people write for them. Beyonce, we had a conversation a couple of a couple of months ago, I think, about Tiffany Red and her whole situation with how much credit she was getting for writing some songs with Beyonce. She talked about the whole process, how artists will just take songs that were already created and then they will put their own style on it. I think most recently, who was it? It wasn't, um, it wasn't the game, but something came out recently about Umbrella by Rihanna. There was an artist, ah, you know what? I don't want to, let me look it up. Hold on a second. And then we'll get to the music here in a second, y'all. I'm going to see if I can find it. The dream. That's who it was. That's who it was. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Do they have the original version? I don't want to play it on here. But anyway, the dream basically recorded and created the whole entire cadence, the whole entire uh, lyrics for the umbrella track. Even the way she does the umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, A. The dream did all of that. So I don't know. I don't see the big deal with this. Y'all have to tell me if it's a big deal to you, as a lot of y'all are writers. If you think if you're working with somebody and they perform the song, is there something else that should be done there? Is it weird? Um, I don't know. But we're going to keep it moving. Thank y'all for letting me cover that. That's all the news we have on that one so far. We're going to get some of these music reviews in here pretty soon. I know Triple C had one he wanted me to, to look at. <laughs> Hollywood Co. doesn't believe me. I've never been to Magic City. I've been, I've been in the parking lot. I've been in the parking lot. I know where it is. I've never been. Uh, I've never been inside. Uh, take that. <laughs> take that for what you will. Mark of the Prophets in here. He said Kendrick's pen is better than that. Yeah, I think that's the thing that's throwing me off with the Kendrick track. That's the only reason I would believe that it's AI is. Um, it's just that the writing on it was not good. Lil Skelly said, are we doing links today? Yes, we are. Mikey Gaskett said, you can fix a mix, but you can't fix bad bar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. Hollywood Co. said, there's some witty bars in there, though. I think he's talking about uh, Hi Whitney. Yep, I agree. Snap a Slapper said, so if it's AI voice, you think it might be AI written? That's what I'm saying. We don't know. Just saying it's AI. It could be the lyrics. It could be the voice. It could be... Uh, who knows? Who knows? It could be AI written though. And honestly, I could take these lyrics and I could copy it and throw it into something like a Suno AI and it will actually expand the lyrics for me and write another verse and continue the chorus, which is, which is crazy. Snap a slap and says, has anyone used AI to write a track for them in here? I'm curious to hear what the writing sounds like. Yeah, go back and watch. Let me see if I can find the video. Hold on. I'm going to show you the video real quick, Snapper. I'm not going to play the video. I'm just going to show you which one it is. So if you go to my YouTube channel and then you scroll down, I think the video is titled something like this AI tool is Eliminating writer's block. Here we go. Oh, you can't see it. Let me do it like this. So it's this video right here. It says how to eliminate writer's block with this AI tool. And I go through this whole, 
this whole video, I go through and I show you guys an AI tool that actually writes music. It creates the beat or it generates the beat, I should say. And it can generate the vocals too. It's called Suno AI. And then there's another, there's another AI tool out there. We're going to cover probably sometime next week or maybe on Friday, but, uh, yeah, snap it. It's, it's crazy out here with the AI, man. Ray flow is up in here too. He said it's AI for sure. Man, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Big D right said they got some good wings over there at magic city. Yeah. Shout out to magic city. Young step. says I have an AI classy song. <laughs> Hollywood code says Alan Iverson ghost writes for me. Hey, shout out to AI. And big D right said the vi that video gave us free game. Yeah, go check it out. If y'all haven't watched it. All right, let's go ahead and get into the music reviews. I see y'all over on band lab. We've got little men 50s in here. Frog boy says I'm 14 now. Hey, happy birthday. Bizo beast is in the building too. I got you. Who else is in here? Oh, Skelly is talking about the WNBA contract, which I'm still. That's crazy. Skelly says that's pretty average for a WNBA rookie contract. Yeah, I wonder what bridge. I don't like doing this. Just because I'm interested to see. Y'all look at this. <laughs> look at the average. Okay, I need to type in rookie. Hold on a second. There you go. NBA rookie scale. First overall pick, $10 million. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. Yo. Oh, man. And here's their here's their first year, second year, third year. The NBA's just been around a lot longer and it generates way more money. So I get it. I get it. I'm not mad at it. Um two million if you're taking at the 30th pick. Yeah, and this is all, these are all lottery picks. Let's go back to 1999 and see. Now we're going off the rails. Back in 1990, 1999, the 29th overall pick got a salary of $562,000. That's still more than Caitlin Clark. <laughs> man, even the, uh, even the 12th man, I'm not going to keep going now. Anyway, that's the NBA though. Two different animals. The WNBA is not the NBA as much as they want to try and compare. Uh, it's just, they're not the same. They're two, two different people. All right. So before I get to triple C, we do have somebody who sent in a skip cash app, cash over on the cash app. We've got Mr. Ray flow over there. Let's go. Ray flow. Let's go. Hey, listen, man. No, they didn't. TK, no, they didn't. If they ain't got it, they ain't got it. And like someone, a couple other people were saying, she was offered multiple million dollar deals to play elsewhere. So she clearly wants to play in the WNBA for whatever reason. I think it's, I think it's a smart move just because the NBA <clears throat> is pushing the NBA, the WNBA a lot more. I think Caitlin Clark, if she stays healthy, she could have, a pretty long career there. So, I mean, she's going to, she's going to see some money while she's there. It's just, it's going to be a different look. Let me get Ray flow up in here. Y'all let me know what you think about this one. Again, if you're just joining us and you want to know how to submit your music, if you're watching on band lab, you can submit your songs in the live chat there on band lab. If you're watching on any other platform, the link to submit is in the description. Um, yeah, <laughs> WNBA, they, ain't, they said that I ain't got it, man. I'm sorry, Caitlin. Here we go. I wonder what she was making in college. No better. 
got a feeling Can't let nothing get between uh -uh. Be the love you need and the love they never seen First love to God, cause that's who create my identity, my identity. He got my steps even when I fall, he got the remedy If that ain't love, then you gotta be kidding me Don't care the time, I want love in my proximity I feel the love, so I give it back to infinity What's up, Free Free? High and low, looking for love, <laughs> infinity me Love yourself first, you got the ability this is nice, right? Shout out my mom. She loved me unconditionally. My mom showed me how to love with the love that she gave me. Get you a dose on a daily. From who? You, maybe. If that's what it takes, then okay. All the love that I give ain't no way. It ain't about what I get out the way. If it's real, it's gonna be on display. It don't play. Love is beautiful, it's kind, and it's patient. Love yourself like it's a job, your occupation. It ain't hard, just put your heart. Can y'all still hear or am I frozen? There we go. For that time to come now is here and it's there staying and it's staying. If what you saying ain't out of love what you say okay. What you say love is beautiful, it's kind and it's patient Love yourself like it's a job, your occupation It ain't hard, just put your heart in rotation Then give it up like a standing ovation That's all I need and it don't cost a thing When you get that feeling, let it flow like a string Ain't no better feeling, can't let nothing get between What's up, brother Bear? Yeah. That's Ray Flo in the building with love. And he said that is out everywhere. All right, y'all go check him out. <laughs> Snap and slap us. I'm getting hacked again. No, I think my computer's just getting old. It might it's time to upgrade. I think I've got I've got a lot of tabs open. I've got too much on my computer. I need to to clean my computer. It's just it's getting old, man. It's time. Bizo B says, Oh, and classy, I sent you a message on BandLab of the vocal chain I'm about to buy. I need a second opinion when you get a chance. Hmm. Okay. I got you. Let's get triple C up in here. He said over the whole project. And this one is called make it. I definitely want to make sure I get the, all the members in here too. I said, what's up to free free. Shout out to free free brother bears in here too. Good to see you. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Young step said, am I on the list? As long as you submitted, if you submitted a song, then you are on the list. Yeah, I looked it up. Caitlin Clark was making three million in the uh, in college. Dang, that's crazy. Uh, why didn't this open? Where did it go? All right, here we go. Imagine going from making three million to making seventy six thousand dollars a year. That's why I mean, I guess she's going to get more than that 3 million from deals, but still salary wise, it's, it's going to be just like college for her, which is crazy to me. Uh, triple C said, appreciate it. Classy. Yeah, I got you. I'm just waiting for this thing to load. It doesn't want to load for some reason. Is it, that's not the right one. Is 
it opened the wrong one. All right, I'm gonna play this one by, hold on a second. Let's get this one by Young Steppa in here and then Triple C, I'll get you up here next. This is Trader Part 3, it's a freestyle. <sighs> Since somebody getting jealous and mad, I thought I should just go ahead and spend a few minutes to respond to what he got to say. <laughs> Yeah, I want her over, she natural lover She said that she getting lonely, come over Yeah, she said I'm packing her four leaves like clover Yeah, off on your leash, ain't a dog or an owner Said you support him, but you ain't a donor Baby so hot that she gave me a boner Reference to Flint, who we calling a stoner You detent just cause you're bigger, you're stronger But in this life, you are wronger and wronger You can stay mad while I'm ballin' like Bonner Words are like Tyson, my face are like Connor Yeah, you were just straight up so stupid and ugly Starting to get what they call any fugly You had no brain or IQ you were the dummy Stick to a clown Cause you think that you're funny Yeah Can't much my drink Cause my nose is still runny Keep on your shirt But you look like a mommy Thinking you're sick Better check on that tummy Buddy looks sad Better cry to your mommy Wah, wah, wah I'll grab a bottle You hungry? Such a big baby Let's go to the nursery Feed you a bottle of milk Said you thirsty This is part three And you still coming back? Thought you were gone When I last made a track Said you were scared After this little black Drop your comments And saying that's whack Oh You just clearly don't get it Dude there is nobody around in this world that would screw you. What's up, Kay? You see what I'm talking about? When you see it, you look confused. What do you mean, Bizo Beats? Shout out to Young Steppa. Yeah, that was dope. I like the energy. Chat was feeling it too. That was nice. All right, we got Triple C in here next. This one is Make It by Miklo and Triple C. And he wants me to. Look at the mixing on this one. Oh, shout out to Six Lenses, too. Cool, calm, call it. I tell my mama I'm a man. I tell my brother I'm a man. I tell my daddy I'm a man. I tell my baby I'm a man. Yeah, this one is just moving really slow. I like it. It's it's telling a nice story, but um Yeah, we're only halfway there and I'm kind of I'm kind of ready to press next. But we might be able to bring a little more, bit more life to it once we mix it. But let's keep it going. It was four of us in the West Coast. When I was asleep, they stuck in my room, took my money and clothes and fools even took my phone. Oh 
my kids in bed. Real shit. Yeah, yeah, y'all need to know who's really by your side. It could be fine. Oh, if that was five years ago, I didn't have me no more. Now I'm on my injured bed. Tell my baby boys, they ain't gonna worry because daddy's gonna make a oh, way. Just show me you got me, I promise I got you, baby. <laughs> I tell you the truth, I'm saying. Cause I got you. you know they play that song. When they play me on the radio. Just so that we know I did it before. Look at something done. Yeah, I like the song. I like the message for sure. It's dope. My dog Day Day's up in here. What's up, Day Day? All right, so Triple C, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bookmark this one. And, oh man, why does that light look so bright? What if I do? Is that better? It's a little bit better. What I'm going to do is. I'm going to bookmark this one and I'm going to do a full mix and master of this song on Thursday. And I'll do it on the, the band lab engineer channel, because I don't want to just quickly go through this and try and mix it because, um, yeah, there's a lot. Oof. There's a lot going on here. Let me see. I said I'm a maker. You told me I wasn't. I said I'm a maker. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mikey Gascan said, classy dimmer switches, bro. Dimmer switches. Well, I've got two ring lights here. So that's why I just move them like that. And then I've got a box light up there. So that would be nice. Let's listen to this. As long as you got me, I told oh, you I got you. As long as you pay, yeah, y'all yeah, don't, don't even know. They don't have to deal way back before. Oh, oh no. yeah, they don't even know. No, they had a no, deal no, way back no, before. No, 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 they don't even know I was signed before. They don't even know that we've been on the road. They don't even know we've been doing these shows way back before. When I signed that deal, I signed my life away. Cause for five years oh, I can record a thing. Record a thing. Uh, they on my masters and they on my name. Uh, yeah, I really like these ad libs and vocal layers. They go well together. Then when I got dropped, I couldn't do a thing. Hey, what's up, Tone Tone? Or Tony Tone? Every song I did and every verse I wrote. No, I ain't on that shit. It goes to the level. So yeah, y'all need to know about the business side, cause it'll say it is say uh, uh, in 2010 when I did that. Don't know why I signed the deal. But sending back eight to a kid back then, yeah, that was a lie to him. Oh man, this sounds like a real life story. I hope man, I hope you didn't get your stuff taken. Ugh, I hate hearing stories like that, man. Dang. For 75k. There's a couple people in the community who've gotten offered deals like that. When I signed that deal, why I signed my life away? Uh, Cause for five years I can record a thing. Dang. Uh, they on my masters and they own my name. Mm. Uh, then when I got dropped, I couldn't do a thing. I'm sorry, Triple C. That's every terrible. Every song I did and every verse I wrote. No, I ain't on that shit. It goes to the label. Man, I want to mix this right now so bad. When I signed that deal, why I signed my life away? Uh, Cause for five years, I can record a thing. Uh, they on my masters and they own my name. Uh, then when I got dropped, I couldn't do a thing. Cause every song I did and every verse I wrote, no, I ain't on that shit. It goes to the label. 
I had a so compressor. Yeah, y'all need quick. to know about the business. I'm just going to, I'm just going to mess with these vocals real quick. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't help when myself. I that deal, why I sign my life away? Uh, cause for five years, I can record a thing. Uh, they own my masters and they own my name. Uh, then when I got dropped, I couldn't do a thing. Cause every song I did and every verse I wrote, no, I ain't on that shit. It goes to the label. So mm. yeah, y'all need to know about the business side, cause it'll sell. It'll sell. Uh, in 2010, when I did that, don't know why I signed to them. But sending k to a kid back then, yeah, that was a lie to him. Uh, got sent off for writing these verses. Then they asked me if I do any vocals. I told them I didn't, and they told me I should. But them and my passion was poor. When I signed that deal, why I signed my life away? Uh, Cause for five years, I can record a thing. Uh, they own my masters, and they own my name. Uh, then when I got dropped, I couldn't do a thing. Cause every song I did and every verse I wrote, no, I ain't on that shit. It goes to the label. So yeah, y'all need to know. One more. We need to add one more EQ here. One more EQ. When I signed that deal, why I signed my life away? Uh, cause for five years I can record a thing. Uh. They own my masters and they own my name. Uh, then when I got dropped, I couldn't do a thing. Cause every song I did and every verse I wrote, no, I ain't on that shit. It goes to the label. So yeah, y'all need to know about the business side. Cause it'll sell you. It'll sell you. Uh, in 2010 when I did that. Don't know why I signed to them, but sending fat to a kid back then, yeah, that was a lie to him. Uh, got sent off for writing these verses, then they asked me if I do any vocals. I told them I didn't, they told me I should, but them and my passion was poor. Uh, when I signed that deal, why I signed my life away? Uh, cause for five years I can record a thing. Uh, they own my masters and they own my name. Uh, then when I got dropped, I couldn't do a thing. Cause every song I did and every verse I wrote, no, I ain't on that shit. It goes to the label. So yeah, y'all need to know about the business side, cause it'll sell you. It'll sell you. Uh, in 2010 when I did that, don't know why I signed to them. But sending fat gate to a kid back then, yeah, that was a lie to him. Uh, got sent off for writing these verses, then they asked me if I do any vocals. I told them I didn't, they told me I should, but them and my passion was poor. Uh, when I signed that deal, why I signed my life away? Uh, cause for five years I can record a thing. Uh, they own my masters and they own my name. Uh, then when I got dropped, I couldn't do a thing. Cause every song I did and every verse I wrote, no, ain't on that shit, it goes to the label. So yeah, y'all need to know about the business side, cause it'll sell you, it'll sell you. Uh, in 2010 when I did that, don't know why I signed to them, but sending fat k to a kid back then. Yeah, that was a lie to him. Uh, got sent off for writing these verses. Then they asked me if I do any vocals. I told them I didn't, they told me I should. But them and my passion was poems. Uh, when they heard me on the radio, uh, I said I'ma make it. You told me I wasn't. I said I'ma make it. Uh, yeah, y'all don't even know They done lost a deal way back before Oh, yeah, they don't even know They done had a deal way back before uh, yeah. They don't even know I was signed before Yeah, it's hard to turn down 75k at 17 Oof, that's wild But yeah, this is dope We're gonna work on this on We're gonna work on this on Thursday I like it I like it, I like it all right, let's get a few more in here. Oh, man, I got to get up out of here. Who else did I see? Underdog, I need to get you in here. Where did it go? This is the Liquor Store Remix. Is that right? Yeah, y'all check it out. Yo, Benji. Hey, Tony, I hope you're doing well, too.
Hey, what's up, Lil J? I see you. Pops, what's up? You and me, been far from the liquor store. So stop the wine and maybe just smile a little more. You and me, our hearts are a little sore. But stop the crying, baby, know that we've been here before. You and me, been far from the liquor store. So stop the wine and maybe just smile a little more. You and me, our hearts are a little sore. But stop the crying, baby, know that we've been here before. You and me, this the underdog. You already know. Yeah, hey. talking about you, yeah. What you wanna do, yo? Yeah. Hey, I, I got something, knock you out your socks like Debo did red. Yeah. How you wanna play it all? Any opportunity, believe I take it to the max. You already know, girl, me and you forever, that's a match. I'ma go ahead and strike it, yeah, you know, it's like a match, side to side. Me and you forever ride, yeah. This is nice, Been man. far from the liquor store, so stop the wine and oh, maybe free, just smile you, a little more. You and me, our hearts are a little sore, but stop the crime, maybe know that we've been here before. You and me, I'm forever and ever. Girl, if you don't like it, I'm changing the weather. Go straight through my father, why I bother? Why would I go ask a man? I know guys will understand. Yo, get the way I'm stepping, come correcting, then I'm checking me. Hey. Know that I've been back by There it is, underdog up in here. This is catchy, catchy. I love this one, man. Add it to the playlist. Just need a little bit more mixing on that one because your vocals were a little bit, had a little too much high end on there, not enough of that mid low end. But overall, that was nice. Really enjoyed that one. You did a great job, man. Shout out to you. Y'all give it up for underdog in the building, AKA Mr. Tesla. It's a dope name. It looks like Free Free dropped the tip bomb. Over on the cash up, so we got to get him in here. Let's see what he sent. Free Free sent in a song titled Spend. Okay, y'all check it out. Give me one second, y'all. I'll be right back. Do what you can. I guess I can leave the screen up. Do what you can, nigga. Do what you can. I do what I want, do what you can. I do what I want, do what you can, nigga. I guess that's what it is, that's why they mad at you I see you pop your shit trying to get back at me Just take a look at yourself, you unhappy Go and hit the switch on that bitch, they start dancing Really trying to paint me a bitch, just bring a canvas You gon' show me around that motherfucker like it's a man shit The reason you don't know too much, cause of your man You really don't want that heat, go make a sandwich Hey, why you go play in the streets, the most dangerous Claiming that you only fearing this God, we'll meet the angel Oh, I gotta run that part back. Start dancing. Really trying to paint me a bitch. Just 
TK said AS, ASMR rap. <laughs> like it's some man shit. The reason you don't know too much, cuz of your man. You really don't. Boom, then he gon' make a scene. Hey, why you go play in the streets? The most dangerous. Claiming that you only fearing this God. We'll meet the angel. Baptize a fuck ass nigga. I hope it save you. Need him finna spin it again. They call a nader. Six shoot, bustin' a hoe. Straight through the tape. Cap, huh? Come if you want. I hope they save you. Bitch, boy, try if you want. You meet your maker. Blood clot from a little smoke. This ain't your maker. Mm-hmm. Oh, this isn't out yet. I like the flow of Free Free for sure. Yeah, I want to hear that one when it's mastered. Mr. Tesla Underdog said he'll finish it. That would be a dope collab. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Dude Wops in here too. What's up, Mike? Yeah, Free Free has some amazing beat selection too. So if y'all want to... Get some advice on finding good beats. Tap in with Free Free because that was dope. Um, TK said, what's the beat? <laughs> That's funny. Um, Free Free said, oh, your band lab. He's asking for Underdog's band lab. All right, let me keep Italo Calvino is in here. What's up, Italo? All right, let me get some more of the members in here. Let's see. This one is Latin lingo. Who is that by? I think it's Brother Bear. Here we go. Hey, B, spin that bitch. Here we go. What's up, Donnie? Yeah, I can see that. Brother Bear, what's going on with the vocals? They seem, I don't know if you had super stereo separation. So it seems like the vocals are, <laughs> I drew a heart. Aww. It seems like the vocals are here, but then they're almost torn apart. To where there's uh, just a little bit left in the middle, but most of it spread out into into the left and the right ear. So maybe I would turn down your stereo separation on that some. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, dial it back a little bit. Hey, shout out to Mikey Gaskin. Yeah. 
chilling with the models. All right, there it is. We got Brother Bear up in here. Yeah, it just needs a little work. I like the delivery. The delivery was there. I would have liked to hear the flow switch up some because it was very. It was a little bit choppy. So I think that took away some of the emotion in there, but you definitely had high energy. It was fun to listen to, man. That was a good track. And the, the structure was pretty, pretty well there. Could have used some restructuring too. Um, but I liked how you were going back and forth between English and Spanish. Yeah, it was good. Good job. Here we go. Dance, dance. Rock and roll EP by Day Day. nice man i like that one it's fun to listen to definitely made me want to dance i know uh who was it mikey gas can said his son was over there going crazy let's go yeah that was dope only thing i would say is just to add a little bit more energy to it not that you needed too much more but it would have sounded nice if you could have had some some harmonies in here too or even some even some other background vocals this beat is pretty pretty busy so you wouldn't want to overdo it but i think you did a you did a great job on this one man those are just some creative things i would have mentioned overall this is dope smuggling the one said play my second submission okay so so i don't forget let's go ahead and get that one up in here this is called sad pan 
They don't look sad in the uh, the album artwork. <laughs> What's up, Drip? Shout out to Drip. She want to groove like the 80s. But both of us some 90s babies. She go city to city. She looking for the rich and famous. Ooh. I got exactly what you want, baby. Great job on the mix on that one too, Smokey. Yeah, you did a really good job on the mix on that one. The the background vocals could have been leveled out a little bit more, but song structure wise, everything else about this perfect. absolutely perfect, man. I would listen to that one again. Whoa, 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 chill, 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 chill. <laughs> it was decided it played at the end. All right, here we go. DJ Snoofu with "My Heart Burns for You." Here we go.
I'll drop the link to this one for y'all too. This is something I could hear Kanye on. Did somebody say that in the chat? Um, yeah, I could hear, I could hear you on this. Why do you hate Kanye? Yeah, Snoofu, that was dope. I love this song. The beat structure was perfect, man. I could see uh, an artist like Agent Wordsmith just going crazy on a track like this. So, yeah, very well done. I know a lot of y'all in the chat were feeling that one too. Smokey saying, even J. Cole. Oh. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna talk about J. Cole until I guess the fall off comes out, and even then. Uh let's see. What does you Mosel say? Ever since his interview on uncen on uncensored interview, I realized how much of a conceited weirdo he is. What? What? Never said his music was bad. Oh, I don't yeah, I don't know. Yeah, sometimes when people tell the truth or when they when they say how they feel, I don't know why that comes off as conceited. Or what they think about something. Hmm. Uh Kanye on Pierce Morgan. Okay. Uh what is there something specifically that he said? Uh, he was acting weird with Pierce. Well, you know, Pierce is weird. Here we go. Big D right. Weekend love. Is there something specifically? I'm just curious why you would say you hate him. I'm moving on from you. So strong words.
this was dope. Big D right up in here. Hollywood Co said, y'all got a ninja in here doing the salsa and getting sturdy at the same time. Yeah, this was fun. This one's fun. This one's fun. Jen the Great is in here too. What's up, Jen? Shout out to Jen the Great. Jen stopped by the uh, the show last night and sponsored 12 artists. She was going crazy last night, Jen. And she showed up today to say what's up and show y'all some love. So shout out to Jen the Great in the building. Uh, Emoto says, Classy, forgive me for my strong. You don't have to apologize. I'm just saying. I, uh, I thought it was an interesting use of words. I was just annoyed by both him and Piers in an interview. The way Kanye was so full of himself and conceited and angry as hell. As hell, he was acting. It was so weird. Is it? Hmm. I mean, is there something specifically that he did? I don't know. I watched I watched the interviews several times. I think it was definitely awkward, but I think that's. No, you're good. You're good. I watched it. I've watched it multiple times. I think. If you were to say awkward, I would agree. But anyway, we're not going to go down that way. Shout out to Big D, right? That was dope. Hollywood Co is up in here. We'll hit him. Jen says, sorry, I'm late. I was sleeping. Had to work. Hey, get that money, Jen. Don't apologize. Hey, this is it. First money. off, I'm the shit, and it's not going to change. Guess we whipping that straight drop. Yeah, that's pure cocaine. When these niggas notice you how they try to dim your flame. Nigga, don't hate the player. Just hate the game. I can't complain. Nigga, me and you is not the same. It's just different. You illiterate. No, you can't speak my language. I'm realer than any of them pussy niggas you hang with. I'm keeping my pistol and I'm keeping one in the chamber. Niggas want to be famous. I put them on the news. Hit them close range. Left blood stain on my shoes. I'm finna go insane. Yeah, I'm missing a couple screws. I'm selling cocaine, nigga, so I can never lose. Forever winning. Forever holding. My pockets swollen. They never ending. Police patrolling the block, but that ain't gonna start the business. I'm hey. keeping my hole in my clock and shoot it with top precision. You know the games and niggas stop pretending. And not to mention that it's robbing season, bro, so keep your distance. The streets will get more dangerous the closer they get to Christmas. You pussy niggas lucky if you can make it to Thanksgiving. Nigga, if you ain't from here, then stay the fuck from out of trenches. Masked up on a mission to raised up with cruel intentions. Put your hands up on me, yeah, I'm strapped for real. It's a stick up, nigga, this not a drill. Don't get killed, just give it you up. You ever been to Paris? I, I didn't think so. So fuck what you think, think, think ho. Broke niggas think broke. Bitch, I'm hot to keep it in the sink, Big Big dog. Dog. Put a hole in you niggas, you niggas not special. Kill your brother, but not a cop that's coming to arrest you. You bought a watch, you should've bought a bulletproof vest, too. Lame nigga, I don't check in, but I check you. Since the bullets to your chest plate, they go straight through. Straight drop, Coke gave me a pack, I'ma make two. Stick it to the cold, little nigga, we don't break rules. Hey, what you owe me for my sledge? I'ma break you. Leather face, 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 face. All of y'all motherfuckers, fuck you, die slow, motherfucker. My phone, phone, make sure all y'all kids don't grow. You motherfuckers can't be us or see us. Masked up on a mission to raise up with cruel intentions. To put your hands up on me, yeah, I'm strapped for real. It's a stick up, nigga, this not a drill. Don't get killed, just give it up. Warn you, we'll bomb on you, motherfuckers. We do our job. All right, there it is. Hollywood Co. and Lord P up in here. Yeah. <laughs> Big D right <Rice> said. <laughs> he said, damn, I forgot about that one. Yo, that was wild. And Ak was just sitting there like. <laughs> Yo, that was crazy. Shout out to Hollywood Co. <clears throat> Song structure, technical side, is perfect on this. It's just your vocals sound like the way back there. And then Lord P's vocals sound super thin too. So you get a good mix on this. You'll be fine. Uh, you most said, but classy, the interview was more hilarious and hysterical than it was awful and annoying. You got to admit, it was so funny, man. Watching them fight like casting dogs or husband and wife. Yeah, yay. I love yay in interviews, man. He's uh. <laughs> 
just the the way he thinks or i should say the way that he gets his thoughts across i think it's just it's so entertaining and he's he's definitely evolved as you've seen him <clears throat> do more structured interviews which i think is dope um i think that most recent one he did with was it was it big boy he did the interview with it was really really good but um yeah, and that snap a slap a says he don't think he's he does it, and I love that about him too. So it's a hard skill. It's crazy, man. In today's PC um, sensitive environment, you don't find a lot of people like that, and not just purely going off of emotion, but just just saying how they feel and what they think about something. It's uh, yeah, it's hard to come by. Snap a slap a said Gem Gemini energy. You know what's up. Oh, Smokey said Bobby. Bobby and Yay. <laughs> Yo, know, that that would be amazing. That would be amazing, man. I don't think Bobby could handle that. Big D Wright said, I could stand, I couldn't stand Drake and Bobby interview. That was cringe. I'm sorry. Yeah, Bobby, I stopped watching her interviews after that, that one she did with Tyga. I just haven't seen any other interviews I was interested in, but uh, they, they're definitely entertaining for sure. Uh, Emoza says, why does Kanye always be walking around in his socks, though? I don't know. You have to ask him, but why not? Yeah, why not? Big D right set roaster. Yeah, like... Um, like um oh my gosh like uh offset then yeah it was crazy smoking one says classy used to start doing interviews yeah i do them we kind of do them on fridays i'm working my way up there yeah big d right said it offset yeah that one was that one was crazy we'll get the interviews in here i've had a couple people on the show we're gonna bring some more folks in i've got a few lined up I know y'all saw the one that I did with Chad Focus, which was dope. Shout out to my guy, Chad Focus. I wanted to get, yeah, I wanted to get Tiffany Red on here. I haven't reached out yet, but I, I think she would, she would stop by. We did a video about her and her whole situation with what's going on with Beyonce and just writers getting their credit in general. And then another one, another person I want to get on here is Curtis King. I want to get Curtis King on here. Nick D, that would be cool. Mm, who else? Yeah, it, either, anyway. Yeah, anybody y'all want to see on the platform, let me know, and I could definitely reach out. All right, y'all, we got to get up out of here. I'm going to play some of y'all in the outro. We will be back here tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, for another episode of the Music Morning Show. We still got some more crazy topics to cover and we're going to listen to some dope music tomorrow night. We are kicking off the song of the night live with the versus challenge featuring five artists this time. It's going to be crazy. So make sure y'all tune in for that. We'll be giving away $100 in cash and you have the option to get a brand new mic microphone as well. All right. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for stopping by. Big shout out to Ray float and free free. Who shows some love and support over on the cash app. We are going to get up out of here, man. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. I'm dropping the video, another video this afternoon around three. So y'all be on the lookout for that. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any time that we drop a video or go live. Y'all keep growing, keep pushing, keep it classy. We go. Peace. Don't turn my butt when it's out. Bassy. Tatchy, where you going? Time for the swallowers. I don't get involved because you all 
a bunch of followers Still been by myself Never get a band-aid when my pockets hurt Mind, body, spirit, yeah That bitch give me all of her Woe is me Never pay attention when they woe in me Gas can pull up up in me Just so you know it's me Genius. I'm from the jungle I stay lying in the hyena Another mic and I can mic my Ike This bitch Gina. And I'm still on the run Tell the state come get that eight months Red Grotty's on his gun And they don't even know he keep one And all you big fish End up belly up in the deep end And never ever scared to burn no bridges Nigga we swim Had to free my mind While you was thinking you could please him Watch me grow the blinds Cause I see you niggas peeping I guess I get around Q5 that's how I get around Girl spin that shit around Back shots while I'm hitting rounds Ain't the first mic that you see that about to knock them out since Tyson, I mean Jackson, I mean Blue Blake, what they talking about? I'm stupid, bitch, don't think I don't know what I'm doing, bitch, well, I'm topping out at 120 with my eyes closed on this 210, and I'm blowing up like it's 10 tick. good dick and gum, I got plenty, now this just some shit that I rented, pull up making yours look dented, now she treat your ass like an antique, call his ass at the AMPM, pull up, make it go pim pim, stop a heart like an EMP, and then bring it back when I pim we sleep in it, you can't wake us up, you know Oh, it's Mikey D gas and the D just stand for these nuts. Trying to blow the world like she freezer. All her friends just trying to keep up. Cut these niggas into pieces and then stuff them in the freezer. Who she sweet for me? She gon' eat me like it's dessert. Out here popping pee for me, my penis what she deserves. Never slowing down for these clowns, nigga, we swerve. Fuck with you and that one that's around you, that's police heard. Life on the edge, watch me dangling my sneakers. About to stay. Die on they heads and on feet first Don't believe in me, believe that me just want his feet first And now she mean to me, after I gave her ass this D first Fuck you niggas hating and that fake that you believe in When I die, I put my money in the grave like I was dreasy Watch me eat the beef out here two of them like it's Reese Reese She deadly and she out here high and ready Yelling piece of pizza Ai meu cu, ai meu cu, ai meu cu, ai, ai